Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video. Today I'm going to speak regarding like more free-to-play content, uh, how to spend uh, command points wisely, simply because these SP command points are like uh, one of the most important action points, right? You are using these command points to farm Darklings, you are using these command points to uh, catch the pets, war pets, uh, farming dark forts uh, and in general doing anything in the game rather than hitting the enemy legions right so i think it's really important uh, for everybody to understand what would be the best way of spending the command points right uh, so that's why i decided to take this video in order to help you guys right first of all these command points, uh, you need to spend them uh, on a daily deals, right? On a on a daily uh, quests, uh, you have a uh, spend a total of five hundred uh, command points. That's mandatory. I think that everybody should be spending five hundred uh, command points whenever the reset is uh, here, right? And also, you are getting a weekly quests. Uh, spending 6,000 command points in order to get a uh, like a XP in order to get the rewards, right? That's like normal thing. I think everybody is doing that uh, simply because like the rewards, uh, even if you did not buy the inside rune, which I have never done. Uh, here the rewards are pretty great, like uh, some resources, some tokens, some legendary medals, uh, some uh, legendary hero tokens and a lot of stuff which you can get for free and in general whenever you are a free-to-play player uh, everything what you can get uh, for free is important and you need to maximize the every reward which is gettable for free right simply because we are not spending money on this game and we need to try our best to catch up somehow right uh, even though sometimes uh, the pay to win players don't do the events they prefer to uh, pay with your credit card, right? So, like, in order for you to uh, progress pretty well during the uh, game, whenever you are progressing, you need to spend your uh, command points. But there is, like, a couple of researches which is important for you in order to increase the command points and, like, in general, increase the command points and increase the recovery of the command points, right? For example, Stamina 2 and Stamina 1 uh, is here, they will like stamina 1 will increase your command points for 200, right? And uh, stamina 2 will increase your command points up to 400, which is pretty good. Uh, I would recommend to upgrade this stamina researcher simply because you have to do it anyways, right? To start upgrading supply chains too, you need like uh, breast control to uh, which is like recovering the stamina speed, which is amazing uh, uh, research. And I would highly recommend to uh, upgrade as much stamina recovery and stamina uh, uh, additional stamina in order to be to have a more right. I don't have like it on the max level, and my maximum stamina is. 1640 right it's not a lot but it's better than not upgrading them at all so like most important topic why i took this video is to tell you what are the most important ways to spend your uh, your command points right because as you can see even if you will uh, upgrade the research you still need to wait a lot of time like uh, to get uh, 700 command points right now i need to wait like uh, approximately six hours right so you need to be smart whenever you are spending command points and i think whenever you are starting the game it's better to spend the command points on uh, darklings simply because you want to upgrade your uh, heroes uh, the levels right whenever your main heroes like main legion heroes are on a max level and you don't want to farm darklings then you can go to uh, farm like Warpets, and in general, like if you don't have upgraded the Warpets, Warpets policy, you have only two Warpets warrant, which which means that you can only catch two Warpets. It won't it won't take too much commander points, right? But in my opinion, most important uh, uh, way of spending command points are farming Darklings. Uh, I'm sorry, not Darklings, farming uh, forts. That's like most important in my opinion, and I will show you why, okay? Uh, so, 
Like there is like a couple of levels of, on Darkling Forts and every each of them are giving kinda exact uh, same rewards and I think these rewards are amazing, right? You are getting experience like if, if you want if you want to not uh, kill darklings for experience you can simply go and farm forts you're gonna get a lot of um, tactical manuals which is which gonna give you your heroes some experience uh, sometimes you're gonna get silver keys sometimes you're gonna get golden keys it happens uh, now with the addition of the the prestige uh, from this uh, season we are getting the prestige from the forts so 5000 it's a pretty good amount right uh, you are getting Arcana Dust, so in my opinion, like Darklings farming and Dark Creatures farming are like uh, collected in the forts. Like everything what you get from farming Darklings, farming Dark Creatures, you can get uh, by farming these forts, right? So uh, I would highly recommend to start farming them, and uh, one of the main reasons why I'm saying that is treaties. So treaties are really really hard to get in this game and how you can use the treaties, right? Treaties are important to upgrade the Larry Harp. Uh, Rally Harp might sound uh, not, a, not as important uh, uh, for free-to-play players, but still you need to upgrade everything until the 25 levels, right? And also from the Rally Harp you are getting Alliance Rallied Army Capacity. So 1200 uh, treaties uh, like any other way of getting them is to buy with gems and i think spending gems on treaties are pretty bad it's better for for free-to-play players to spend gems on and other things right so that's why i think most uh, profitable and the most valuable farming in this game the, with the commander points are farming darklings you can get anything here even some speed ups for building speed ups for research uh, arcana dust for your artifacts to level them up uh, silver keys, golden keys, experience uh, for your heroes, and resources, not a lot, not a small amount, pretty uh, good amount resources you can farm with the fort. So, like, you can say, like, anything here is pretty important, but I think treaties are the most important. Like, you need a lot of... <coughs> I'm sorry. You need a lot of treaties in order to upgrade your Rally Harp into the 24 level, right? At least 24 levels. And you can see even uh, gems can be get, you can get gems from the farming forts. Not only like this is important because you are getting a lot of resources or experience, right? Like even some gems, even some golden keys. Prestige is pretty important whenever you are starting the game after the reset of the new season. So like most important uh, farming uh, in general, in my opinion, with the commander points uh, are like farming forts simply because you need a ton of treaties, right? Like, let's say I have uh, 1,200 treaties. For the next level, I will need 1,500 treaties, right? And that's, like, a lot. Whenever you are getting, like, a pair one fourth, like, up to five, one, I got here six, but one is most usual. Five will be great if we can get five pair fourth, but it's impossible, right? So... Try to farm as forts as much as possible. You will be happy about it. You're going to get resources. You're going to get dust. You're going to get experience. What else you want, right? You are spending 150 commander points per fort. And whenever you are farming Darklings with every single legion, you are spending the same amount of commander points to get some experience uh, for your legions, right? And uh, from the forts, you are getting a lot of uh, experience i will show you again uh like uh, let's check twenty six thousand experience right like if you're gonna use your, your every legion and you're gonna go and farm darklings you won't gonna get twenty six thousand experience per every single hero right so like my big suggestion would be to try and farm darklings from like every aspect of the game because you will need a lot of treaties in this game right uh, like, not only if you are not the person who is rallying the enemy or rallying in the roots of war, you still need every building in the, your town to be at least 24 level. And, like, in a perfect world, everything should be 25 level. So, like, every uh, building you can get by simple resources, but only two buildings, like, uh, one is Watchtower, which you need uh, Sentinel Arrows to upgrade, right? And the... 
uh, rally harp. You need har uh, you need treaties to upgrade the construction. Uh, whenever you're gonna progress throughout the game, you will see that a lot of even pay to win players are crying about treaties and sentinel arrows. Uh, actually, like slowly, we are getting more and more events when where we can get more treaties and more sentinel arrows. But I think we need more uh, because like. Per one fourth, you can count like at least two or three treaties, and to upgrade from uh, level uh, how much? Like level eight, eighteen to nineteen, you need one thousand two hundred treaties, which is like approximately you need to like uh, dis destroy a lot of forts. That's why start collecting them. Don't uh, scrap the treaties and sentinel arrows, and I think in general spending commander points to kill uh, forts is the most perfect way of spending your commander points, right? And uh, don't try to collect the commander points uh, potions, simply because every beginning of the new season, uh, these commander potions are getting destroyed. So, like, try to play the game. Uh, playing the game means, like, uh, uh, using your commander points until the end and then waiting until it will be full. So, like, yeah, this is all I wanted to say. Uh, sometimes people are only farming Darklings, sometimes they are only farming Dark Creatures, and they are forgetting that you can get uh, treaties from the fort, and you can rally, you can upgrade your rally harp, right? Uh, so, like, try to farm as much forts as possible. I'm not saying that uh, don't farm Darklings and don't, don't farm Dark Creatures. You can, like, maximize your ways. Like, you can farm your Darklings until your heroes are at least... 50 level, right? Uh, farm your uh, dark creatures until you have all your artifacts uh, until it's like 60 level. And after that, you can easily just switch to farming forts because you will need a lot of uh, treaties to upgrade your rally harp. Now, this is all I wanted to speak in this uh, video. I hope you are liking the content. Uh, mainly, the content in, in my channel will be for free to play players because, as you can see, I did not even spend one dollar for Lilia. And I think, like in general, we can play this game as a free to play players. It's not that hard. You're gonna still enjoy playing. And of course, uh, if you will avoid fighting against tier 5 players, your progression will be much, much better. So, yeah, like try to spend as much commander points as possible. Try to farm forts because treaties and sentinel arrows are really, really important. Uh, this is the only way we can get the treaties by, and by one or two events, but mostly through forts. So, start it right now. It will be beneficial for you in the long run, okay? Like, whenever you're gonna look back, you will thank me that I told you to, uh, to spam uh, killing forts to get more treaties. Um, this is all I wanted to say in this in this video. I hope you are liking the content. If you do, press like button, press subscribe. Uh, it will bring a smile on my face and I will have a more and more motivation to uh, do the videos as I have been done these past couple of months, past seven to eight months. Thanks for watching. I hope you are enjoying the game in general. Soon uh, my server will start season TI. And then then gonna be a lot more content, new heroes, new map, new talents. So yeah, a lot of content are coming in this channel. And I really enjoy the time seeing the likes and the subscribes which you guys showing to me. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye bye. See you very soon.